Hello everyone, I'm Comrade Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, playing as a Soviet Union under Joey Stahl, or Joseph Stalin. So, uh, I want to address comments first. So, one comment from yesterday was about the Sakhalin Islands. Someone said, this looks okay, but Mr. Mokalover, can you give the northern part of the island to the Japanese just so it looks better? I'm like, okay, sure, you know what, why not? They don't have a core on it, but you know what? I'll core it anyways for them, just so that... They don't have any resistance, because I hate resistance. But, me doing this, what I'm going to do, once we liberate Japan from the evil Imperial family, I'll take this all back. So, that's my plan. Uh, do we have claims on this? We don't even have claims on that. That's okay. We'll take this eventually over time. So, just because someone commented on that, might as well. Uh, another comment. Usually 20 combat width divisions, they're not as good as 40 combat width. I'm not making my infantry 40 combat width yet, just because... We don't have enough artillery. Or really not enough support equipment, I think. Wait, well, actually, I could make a 40 combat with right now, probably. But, like how I just said comment, I want as many divisions in the field as possible. And that's why we're trying to make a lot of support equipment. And actually, this episode, we're going to be making a lot of military factories. A ton of military factories. As well as fighters. And artillery, too. So, and the last thing to address... Oh, carriers! Oh, Merkulov has been removed. Oh. Wait, which one was Merkulov? We might need Molotov in our cabinet. Uh, what? Wait, why did that delete? Wait, what? Why was he gone? We have an agency. Um. Okay, that's a little odd. Yeah, I don't like that. That was very weird, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. I think there's one more comment I wanted to address, but regardless, like I was talking about factories, once we get, like, these three done... Oh no, we lose more factories. I'm gonna start producing a ton of military factories. It's getting close to 1939, and we should really start building up a ton of factories so that we are more than prepared for any sort of, uh, adventure. Actually, world tension is incredibly low. Can I just go to war with you guys? No, you're guaranteed by the Greeks and them. We could go to war with Poland. What about Sweden? U.S. pursues interventionist policies. What about Turkey? No, they're guaranteed... Oh, well, they're guaranteed by the Romanians. If I justify on the Turks, this could really screw up World War II because, uh... Well, the Allies include Italy and the UK, or the British Empire. I have Spain in common turn, and Germany, Hungary, Slovakia, and France are in the Axis together. So there's not going to be any around the Maginot or above the Maginot. So, uh, that's weird. You know what? I wonder, can we go to war with Turkey? That would be a fun little excursion into Romania. And, of course, the Turkish area. And we could get Constantinople, perhaps. You know what? That sounds like fun. That really sounds like a lot of fun. However, a 0% world tension. I don't know if the Allies will, you know, guarantee them. Because if they don't, that'd be a lot of fun. That would be a ton of fun. What is Turkey? Yeah, they have a lot of chromium, which we need for our heavy ships. They have a ton of chromium. Oh, that's so good. And of course, Romania has a lot of fuel, which is pretty darn good and pretty necessary. Also, I did want to address, yes, I do remember that you can just shift train to um, have them train up to become regulars, and then they'll stop. And for me, I don't mind getting a little bit more army XP since we shouldn't be in war too soon, maybe except for the, against the Turks and Romanians, but whatever. So... I'm not sure what the U.S. is trying to do. They're trying to pursue, you know, interventionist policies, but then they pass a Neutrality Act. Excuse me, U.S. Uh, weren't you supposed to go Communist, too? Or at least Democratic Socialist? Yeah. They already desegregated the armed forces. Full desegregation. Uh, FDR, you're taking a little bit long on that full desegregation there. And you guys aren't guaranteed... I'd be surprised if France would be able to guarantee anybody now, or would want to. Suicide pills. Oh, fun. Oh, no. What is this? I guess they have collaboration governments, and they're led by Doriot. So, these are weird flags. French Vietnam. Wow. You don't see that every day. Cool. Let's finish off one more. We can probably do another intelligence thing. Let's see. Plant explosives. We're almost done. Holy cow. Uh, psychological warfare. I could infiltrate the civilian administration. How do we have four, though? I don't like having four. Usually, don't we have five? 
I really don't like this. Oh, basic medium battery, very good. This way we'll have really good carriers when they come out. Really, really good. And honestly, 1936 carriers can last you the entire game. And you really don't need to upgrade them, but you know, people do it like me. I do it sometimes, just for funsies. Let's go ahead and grab, actually, that's good. Let's grab some more output. And we need more artillery and support. We need to make more thingies. Thingies? To make more factories, we gotta get more military factories. To make more support equipment. Yeah, words are difficult. 60%. I'll build up the roads here in the USSR eventually. Eventually. That's all. That's what I do almost every late game. Build up tons and tons of roads. Start doing that. I don't mind making a few more civilian factories at the same time. Oh my gosh, 50% everywhere? Is this like real life? Like, I didn't, I've never been to the USSR. Obviously it doesn't exist anymore. But, uh, do they really only have like 50% roads? I don't know, I guess they can't have, well, I don't know. I don't know anything about the USSR. Well, a little bit, not too much. Uh, let's see, how are planes? You know what? I'm gonna start, ah, uh, you know what? Let's start shift clicking to make sure that they are okay. You guys do the same. Well, you'll be okay. Start putting them on armies so I don't have to think about them too much. Oh, we can if we attack the Turks and the Romanians, we'll actually have some action in the Black Sea. If I can take Constantinople, I can get my soldiers or my ships out of there, which would be actually really, really good. Now we got carriers. I gotta make cruiser holes so that there's some screens as well. And we're trying to get a T-35 heavy. Very nice. Uh, some things never change. Ah, uh, the British Empire. How glorious. What a bunch of warmongers, am I right? Strategic bombers, those are nice, but whatever. Can I train them while they're deploying? I can, cool. Second Vienna War, we should see how long this lasts. Actually, that means less for us to take. Oh, that's disgusting. That's honestly really disgusting. T-35s, great. Now I gotta wait till 1941-ish to do that. Get some construction stuff immediately. Yeah, we're just waiting on support equipment. That's it, and a little bit of artillery, but that's okay. This would be good. This would be very good. You know what? Plop one up for now. We'll quickly get the next one. Um, Honestly, I'm going to wait to make these heavy tanks. I won't make a lot of heavy tanks. Just not yet. Carriers, though. Let's grab some of that armor. It costs so much to produce this. It costs 15. Well, I still need my guys to train before we upgrade any more. So that'll be good. And we're just going to produce a ton of war goods. We'll just call them war goods. Uh, you guys, are you training? Go ahead and train for now as well. Everyone here, train. We need tons and tons and tons of training. Oh, we can improve work. We can, yeah, we can get more stability. That's not bad. I create the Asian section. You know what? Let's get some more stability. Or, yeah. I don't mind that. And then we'll try to go for another elusive gentleman, which makes no sense why he left. But whatever. Whatever. I'm not complaining. No. Artillery is looking pretty darn decent. They'll be done relatively soon-ish. When are we going to get the next... Oh, happy 1939, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's do the last agency branch upgrade. Classic explosives. Infiltrating these guys in Latvia. And we can do Poland soon-ish as well. Prepare a collaboration government in Poland. I've already did that several times. Coordinated strike. Crushing blow. Oh, and there goes Ireland. That's okay. Infiltrate civilian administration. Yeah, I don't know why. Let's see, what are you guys doing? Where are you guys at? You are up there as well. That's pretty good. Yeah, but we do need to finish these focuses. Transpolar flights. And then we've got to spend 210 more days doing anti-fascist diplomacy, I believe it is. Yes. And we're doing cryptology with who? Oh, we're doing the British Empire, Romania, and Nation Francais at the same time. Very good. Let's go ahead and do... Found the CPDI. The People's Commissariat of Defense Industry of the USSR will be a heavy industry ministry focusing on our military industrial projects. In the long term, the workload may require further divisions of the ministry. And civilian to military fast factories cost goes way down. Now hopefully, I'm hoping, that the Germans say that, you know what, let's split Poland up in half. That sounds like fun. The Free Democratic People's Republic of Manchukuo. Wait. Didn't you? Weren't you a fascist? Okay, they've gone communist. Le legitimacy. 
You're inviting Japanese settlers now. Okay, well. That's cool. How are these guys doing? You're still my puppet? Good. People owned mines. Red brigades. Naval strength has been higher. They actually have a decent amount of manpower since I gave them the northern uh, little island. They have only two factories. You know what? What if I could... Can I boost your factory output here? There you go. We'll boost you up a little bit. Just a, just a wee bit. Oh, man. We definitely need more factories, though. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That looks pretty good. Come up here first. Finish this off. And then we'll do more artillery stuff. Good. Plastic explosives. Great. We're done here. We're done upgrading stuff. Now we don't have to waste civilian factories on it. Well, it's not really wasting. But, uh, do that one. There you go. Lots of military factories. This is all the civilian factories we're going to be done with for a while. Ufa can go down. You can go down. You know what? Even you can go down. I need tons of military factories for now. I've got a lot of information in Krakow, which is kind of nice. Elastic defense, which is pretty good. Uh, I could do Blitzkrieg, but we don't have any tanks at the moment, so that'd be kind of a waste. So, let's go ahead and do mobile infantry. Thank you. Uh, 1936 cruiser holes. Could be so much worse. Bring revolution to Turkey. Has anyone guaranteed the Turks yet? Nope, just the Romanians. And then I can get involved in Romania. Actually, how strong are they? You know what? You're a linguist. And you are that type of person. So, how about you just come to... I don't think I'll have enough time to make a collaboration government in Turkey. Maybe we can do Romania, though. We might do that. Oh, wait. Well, you know what? Instead, just come down to Turkey. Just because we might get an event saying that Romania wants to, you know, they'll, they'll join us in our fight against, you know, the Germans eventually, or something like that, or they'll change, change allies, or something like that. We all, we are spy master. Counterintelligence isn't as high as I'd like it to be. Best passive defense. Um, uh, anything else here? Getting more stability. 80%. We are a very stable, prosperous, communist, Marxist, Stalinist nation. Oh. There's some activity here. I don't like that. I don't like that very much. Good, pretty good. Now we just need... Oh, that's going honestly pretty well. We've got plenty of motorized, which is awesome. Uh, armored cars, that's good for now. I did say I want to throw out some anti-air. That's probably going to cost me too much for me to really put on. How many pieces? 20 pieces of anti-air. We have about a thousand pieces. Italy declared war on Yugoslavia. Okay. Isn't Yugoslavia guaranteed by France? We have about a thousand units of anti-air. Uh, that would really hurt me right now. That's why I don't want to put it on just yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed by France, aren't you? No, they're not. Oh, they, when they flipped to fascism, France must have gotten rid of the guarantee. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. So you're in the Allies. You're fighting. So Yugoslavia is fighting Italy, Libya, and the Italian-Greek War. Wait, Italian? Oh, no, no. That's normal Greece. Now we have Italian Greece down here in Rhodes, which doesn't make any sense. But, uh, okay. Ideological fanaticism. Japanese provocation at our border. Oh, it's part of maintaining the demarcation line on the border between us and the Japanese People's Republic. A work party was sent out to check the demarcation markers near Lake Kasan. When approaching the border, the work party was taken under fire by a local Japanese outpost. We have lodged a formal diplomatic protest, but the Japanese ambassador maintains that the work party was sent to move the markers to allow us to claim more territory. The Japanese have assured us that they will respect the border but will not allow any tampering with the current demarcation and will respond with force should we attempt to do so. This effectively means that we can no longer move freely about our territory in the area. Unacceptable. Well, I, I don't know if the Japanese People's Republic would really do that, since they're our puppets. I mean, I can see that from the regular Jap Japanese people, but the Japanese People's Republic? I don't know about that, man. I don't know. But let's go ahead. Angered by Turkish posturing. Infiltrate the civilian administration. Thank you very much. Now we will immediately resume operations in... I want to say Poland. I really don't want the Polish here, for some reason. <laughs> uh, but we got everyone in... At least one person in the Baltic states. That's actually really good. What other operations can we do? Infiltrate the civilian administration of Estonia. Let's prepare a collaboration government just in case. Increases collaboration in Estonia by 30%. Now, I don't know how long that lasts. I want to say it lasts until we take them out. But you never know. Resume mission when you're done. Counterintelligence, infiltration risk. That's a good person for defense. 
Linguist, take Elena. And then Infiltration Risk, yeah, it's definitely him. Oh, wait, and prepare when ready. We got plenty of guns. Oh, we need 200 support equipment. That takes quite a bit. Cool. Uh, cruiser holes, 1939. Very good, very good. Even though I should really get this first. I'd love another research slot, but whatever. Now can we grab another one of you guys? Please. Oh, we can go to war with uh, you guys now. Great. Oh, wait. I can't grab... Oh. Okay, so right now, I guess my game is a little glitched. So I can't do anything about this right now. So, I guess we won't get the elusive gentleman. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, I forgot about this. Into a border conflict. We will lose if we have no divisions here. What? You know what? I might just lose just because I want to give Japan some more land doctrine and armor technology. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Uh, but where's it supposed to be? Is this near Korea? Um, I thought it was like down here. You know what? If it's up here, I really don't care. Since I still have state transfer tool mod. Anyways, I care about taking out Turkey. That's what I care about. And the Civil War hasn't happened because Japan, well... Why isn't Japan going to war? They're, they're guaranteed by all the other fascists of the world. I don't have enough intel on them. Anyways, we got to focus on Turkey, which means i got to set up some naval invasions, which I'm not prepared for. Actually, I might just go to war with Romania first, and then take these guys out. Because these guys should be able to hold, you know, fine enough. Uh, do we have any more planes down here? we got some fighters. That'd be good. That's kind of nice. Oh, we still have this. That's right. Military, army, experience gain, division training time. Not purge, not purge. Uh, concealment, armor, capital ships. I like that. Subs. Uh, how about air force? Air experience gain. That's okay. Yeah, these are all okay. Heavy armor, heart attack, reliability. Oh, I like the speed and reliability. Uh, so I thought we used this guy too. Huh. Damage to garrisons goes down. Well, can we do this guy? No, this is completely glitched. What the heck? Oh, well. Motorized rocketry? Yeah, I guess I know we can get that one. Whatever. Cool. Give me this guy, because I'm going to bust through Romania first if I can. You know, there is quite a river around here. But we should do okay. We should do okay. And we can go to war in... By... May 31st. I really don't care about the Japanese provocation. As you might be able to tell, Yugoslavia is not having a good time. If I go to war with Turkey, they're still not guaranteed by anybody except Romania. Found the PCDI, anti fascist diplomacy. So, though all Western regimes are repressed and or repressive and corrupt, there are none worse than those who pretend to be progressive or even socialist by promoting such false con consciousness among the proletariat. They are attempting to delay the revolution and keep the workers in perpetual bondage. Yeah, that's not good, man. That's not good. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and double up our forces here. I doubt Poland will get involved in the war, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I can't imagine Romania being extremely strong, though. But I could also be wrong about that. They got a few factories. They have a little bit of manpower. Zog submits to Italy. Uh, they have up to 64 divisions, perhaps. But, you know what? Let's see what happens. If Romania doesn't go to war, I'll send my tanks down here. Which probably isn't a really good idea, but whatever. You know, whatever. And... You guys, you know, I'm going to pull you guys off so that we can potentially plan a naval invasion. Come from Sevastopol. If I try to attack Istanbul, it might not work super well. So I'll look over here. And then we'll go attack right there. Let's see what happens. Location. Italian diplomatic isolation? Taking one turn for the worse. The British have been plotting. Wait, hold on. Okay, they're still in the Allies. That's kind of fine. My Spanish allies are doing okay as well. Not worried about them. 1939. Let's get some more uh, cap, I suppose. That's pretty good. Usually good to get. And we gotta get better guns and artillery eventually. May 31st. Good. All right, guys are down here. Let's go ahead and go to war with Turkey. Oh, there's quite a bit of lag. What's going on? Oh. It's a lot of lag. Any provocation? Not yet. Two days. I don't. I really don't care. 
Let's go and go to War Turkey. Oh wow, there's 44% roll tension. Oh, and they're immediately attacking me. Cool. And you guys immediately come in too. Awesome. Can you win right there? Can you like go right on ahead? Oh, Finland. Yeah, sure. Oh, we need some. Oh, we're out of convoys. I didn't realize that. And a border conflict. Well, they're attacking me. And with six divisions here, that's why I left my army here in Asia. We should do okay. Construction three. Very nice. Very nice. Could get more extraction, but let's get some guns. Guns are important. And we want to, want to make sure we have enough production efficiency cap eventually. And you know, if we lose this, we lose it. I really don't care. And they're attacking us here. Very nice. Very nice. Bait them in, Maxim. Bait them in. We should be able to do okay here, though. I don't want to attack. I want to wait until we break over the river with our tanks. That's be very good, very good. Uh, actually, oh, there's five divisions there. That's probably too many for me to attack at one time. Come on, you guys got this. You guys have this. No worries. We gotta make sure we have enough planes, though. Uh, let's see. Factory production. We still need more, a little more support equipment, which is fine. We'll get, we'll get a little bit more artillery. And actually, you can probably go to, down below with fighters. Definitely need more fighters. And what are you doing? Oh, you guys all train nice. Um, you know what? That's fine. Just we can scrap with these guys. That's fine. There we go. Now we should be able to hit stuff down there. You all, your fighters. That's good. Throw you right there. You guys are tactical bombers. So go ahead and start bombing this area. There you go. That should help us out a little bit more. Come on, push them out, push them. and there goes Yugoslavia, annexed by the Italianos. How's this looking? Oh, very nice. We were defeated just a little bit, but we're still holding on. Constantine is uh, holding on okay-ish. Italy got a little bigger. I don't know, the Germans attack... Italy for Slovenia? They might. I keep forgetting that the Turks are attacking us down here, too. Maxim is doing a great job, though. Real great job. Japanese defeat at Lake Kasan. Following a clash between Soviet and Japanese forces in the border area around Lake Kasan, the Japanese ambassador to Moscow has requested a ceasefire. Several Japanese assaults on the Soviet positions failed with heavy casualties during the battle, raising concerns in the Japanese military about the capabilities of their forces. We get a bonus to land doctrine, and we didn't even have to fight the pe Japanese People's Republic. Glorious. Ooh. Yeah, I'm really disappointed that my game is glitched right now, that I can't get another, like, operative. Because I really need another operative so I can get, um... Okay, Germ Lithuania. Oh, oh, man. I would love to do more collaboration governments, but I guess we're a little bit, uh... Glitched at the moment for that. Oh, they send in some fascist divisions. Oh, they're attacking me! Oh, they have the way most to do that. I see. Interesting. I attack them, they attack me, we attack each other. It's like one big old happy family gathering. Okay, now the Germans are leaving. Um, Germany? I guess that's kind of expected. I was hoping you'd go to war with Poland first. You know what, if we're not winning, let them attack us. That's okay. Let them attack us first. They're going to just... Oh, they even have the French there too. That makes sense, I guess. Ah, uh, very nice, very nice, very nice. You know what? Can I launch an invasion this way? As you guys are escorting or doing naval invasion support, and you guys are doing the same thing here as these guys, as these fellows. You should be able to. You all keep training. Actually, I'm going to need you guys for later. Can we invade them via this area? Actually, you know what? You guys are a little busy. You guys are a little busy. I'm going to pull you guys off from Estonia. Come on down here, since we've already invaded. So, I wonder. You know what? I really wonder. Can we take two of you guys to come that way? Take, cut off the stem. Well, we don't exactly cut them off, since I think they're connected through here. That would be great. And we can't win there. That's okay. You guys can hold. And come right there. 
There you go, my friends. And our guys are getting down there. Yeah, Romania, you're being much more aggressive than I thought you would be. As well as Turkey. They're being much more aggressive. Oh, man, make sure everyone comes here. That's okay. Guard Izmit. Guard these places. And then... Yeah, you know what? Keep doing naval escorts for now. Because I'm going to throw in the entire army here. It's probably going to kill supply, but you know, whatever. As long as they keep attacking me here, we're okay, right? Wow. See, some of these guys are really weak. Wowzers. What are the casualties like? I'm out of convoys, too. Oh. 30% collaboration in Finland. Cool. We've lost 23,000, which is quite a bit, actually. But considering this, that's over 200,000 casualties so far. That's not... Who's invading? Oh! Oh! Spain, you're here, too! I forgot about that. Oh, good. Our guy showed up. Great. I hope supplies aren't going to kill us, though. I really hope to God that it's not going to kill us. Build up a port on this side, too. That'd be good. Alright. Well, infantry. If that's the case, I'm actually going to send you guys this way so we can take out Constantinople or Istanbul or whatever you call it. Immediately move in. Because you guys got the rest of this area. That'd be great. Um, just do this real quick. Or... Oh, maybe that's not ours. Oh, that's probably Spain again. Oh, Spain lost it. Hey, we took... Oh, great! Look at that. Fast and easy. Nice. Oh, another infantry division. How lovely. God, God, they love attacking me. I was not ready for them to do it like that to us. Would it be possible for us to strike here, though? It might be. If they're really not this organized anymore... Oh, yeah. Pull soldiers off the front line. Maxime, you're level 4, my friend. Infantry expert. Ah, uh, very good. God dang, guys. Turkey, what's wrong with you? Nationalist South Africa declare war on South Africa. Oh, what an African proposition. Now. Yeah, there is no way for them to get down here. That's actually really good for us. Maybe I'll tell you guys to hang out. Maybe I'll tell you guys to start attacking. Maybe I'll tell everyone to start... Oh, apparently the Civil War in South Africa. Nice. The Franco-German Pact. They met in Berlin to discuss the political and strategic situation in Central Europe. Where the German minority in Belgium was once a constant drumbeat for German propaganda... Uh-oh. It is now only mentioned in passing. While noting that Belgium is an artificial construct, not a nation, merely a collection of nations thrown together haphazardly. And putting great emphasis on the large French-speaking population. Uh-oh, Belgium, I wouldn't feel good if I were you. That's not boy enough for you, and that's okay. You can go ahead and do some convoy raiding if we need to. Yeah, this is really surprising. But you know what? If it makes it easier for us, so be it. The Germans are really actually struggling against the, a little bit against the Lithuanians. That's a little unusual. And now I know we're using only 20 combat width, and you can't win everywhere. But uh, go ahead and help push these guys out a little bit more. That would be a little important. Turkish convoys, you know what? Make sure we don't do this. That would be good. Well, they might win here. Come on. At least get us a victory over here or something. Oh, we pushed it over here. Very good. Which means we got to win at least somewhere. So go ahead and start pushing ourselves. Give them force attack since overall we are winning, which is nice. You guys do that. You guys are just fighters, which is fine. You know, we'll do the best we can. If we're not winning here, you can go ahead and pause. It was a good noble attempt. But that's okay for now. Go ahead and pause. That's okay. No worries. We are the Soviets, so we got plenty of manpower. This is surprising. You know what? I'm going to send you guys off. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put you guys where these tanks are to make sure that the line holds very well. And then once you guys are up there, I'm going to pull the tanks down, and we can kill off these guys, because they've lost a lot of fellas so far. Actually, how's the spy situation going? We're still preparing this 29th. Ah, there's Lithuania. That's not good for us. Now, I really hope the German Reich kills off Italy. Or they go to war with each other, because that'd be great. And now we're struggling down here a little bit. I guess that makes sense. You know, only 20 combat width. Be careful in your attacks. Actually, all of you guys just kind of hold it off. You guys are winning, which is good. You guys are doing okay. Um, please, everyone come down this way. 
Please get out of there. Okay, seriously. Okay, there you go. Okay. That's good. That's good. Poland refuses German ultimatum. Germany has ignored every warning. Ah, oh, maybe I won't get some Polish territory after all. Those dirty Germans. And there goes the Reich. They're having a good time with Poland while I'm struggling a little bit with uh, a few other people. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that. I want upgrades. Panzer expert, definitely. Definitely. I've lost 100,000. No, only 64,000 versus almost a half a million. Well, you know, to each their own, I suppose. Oh, good job. Oh, actually. Actually. If I could send these guys down here, that would be amazing. Well, that's going to take some time, and that's okay. Uh, okay, seriously, you guys, I'd probably recommend to stop attacking here. If anything, you should support the attack down here. How much manpower does Turkey have left? I'm sure they got a little bit more. Oh, uh, yeah, about 200,000-ish mobile infantry. Let's grab mass motorization. And look at all that army XP we now have. Awesome. Oh, they didn't make it. That's okay. I'm definitely sending you guys down here, though. All right, get out of here. Seriously, get out of here. Wait, no. Go through the... Go through, what the heck? Go through the water, man. What's your problem? Please go through the water. Um, Soviet theater. Oh, wait, we have you guys, too. There you go. That'll be fine. You'll be led by... Who are we having them led by? Kuzma. Why not? More divisions. Good. Good right there. Hmm. Now, this is definitely turned into a little bit more of a stalemate, but it looks like Romania doesn't have that much strength left. Or at the very least, equipment. Not a lot of equipment. That being said, god dang it, guys. Please get rid of this. Please be normal. You know what? I'm, what I'm gonna do a gamer move. There we go. Pull them off the line so they can't really see them, and then we can move them back up. You guys are doing okay. Give me half of you guys. You should be able to attack here and win. Should. Of course, should. But then again, we are fighting in mountains, which isn't ideal. If that's the case, do we have any... We got fighters. Do we have any tactical bombers? No, we don't. Let's pull some off of you guys. Since you're not actually being used, you're not attacking into Romania. Let's do it in Turkey first. You are still getting attacked a little bit. It looks like we could probably win right here. Some Italian boys. I'd be surprised if we wouldn't be able to win there. I'd be quite surprised. Very nice. If I told you to attack and be careful, could you do that? And be careful. 1939, let's grab some artillery. Three more divisions, great. I want to bait them into attacking me a little bit more. There you go. Oh, that's definitely going to be some bait. And they're going to... Oh. Yep. And they just pulled the lines back forward to do that. Oh, good. More divisions on this side. Great. So you guys have 24 divisions over here. That's not bad. We're going to throw these two divisions right here next to you. Put you under a new field marshal. And... Oh, Vasily. You're really good. But I don't want to use him. I want to save him for the other front. Am I out of... I'll uh, take Karel, because why not? You will be good at being an offensive type of guy. Give me half of you guys. There you go. And then take one more. Come back here. Thank you. Be led by Philip. Philippe. There you go. Because I'm doing it like this just so that we don't have to look at it for quite a while. There you go. Just go there when you're whenever you're ready. Poland is holding up. Actually okay-ish. Unfortunately, we probably won't get any land from this, but that's okay. Yeah, attacking Turkey kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Low-key kind of sucks. Um... You guys can hold. That's fine. Attacking this way also is not very good. Attacking down here should be okay, though. Shang Shi Kai pleads for support. A delegate from this delegation from that guy has arrived in Moscow to sound, out, sound us about 
possible support in an internal party power struggle. They claim that Mao Zedong is not sufficiently committed to the cause of communism and may, in fact, harbor reactionary thoughts and betray the revolution in its most critical phase. Shang Shi Kai instead proposes that we back him, promising eternal and undying loyalty to the communist cause in general and Stalin in particular. Um, a loyal puppet may prove useful. Why not? Let's have a little bit of fun here, right? Uh, is this the same communist China? There's that guy. Oh, they're the same guy! Great! Sorry, Mao Zedong, you're kind of dead now. And heavy aircraft, fighters. Fighters are going to be probably the most important. Let's see if that Deadlands continues. Zuid Zerverks. Yeah, I apologize for this. Usually, this usually doesn't happen with all these Axis members joining in on the fray here. Oh man, that I baited them so hard to stay there. And I do know we have resistance stuff that we need to do. Oh, no, I'll do this one. There we go. That'll be good. Oh, we need to make some Coast Guards, actually. Am I not making Coast Guards? Well, these guys need to get more support equipment. There you go. Make like five divisions. Come to Sevastopol. That'd be good. That'd be actually really good. You guys are still struggling with that. Holy cow. Down here, we're still struggling with this too. Holy cow. Hmm, I'll see what happens. Not too worried. We should be able to at least to take that one tile there. But Romania, Romania is crazy. The fall of Warsaw, Poland did not stand a chance. Yeah, now they're just getting we're just getting attacked by like the Axis members. But you know it's okay. I kinda wanna attack here and see what would happen, but they have plenty of division still there. Yeah, this is nuts. I mean, I've lost probably like 100,000. They've lost so many. I, I wish you could see like the casualties for the volunteers that were sent to help your enemies. I think that'd be a really cool addition to the game. Um, next up, military police is pretty good to do. Field hospitals, I like that. Engineers, recon. Mm. Ship stuff, plane stuff will be very important. Radar? Yeah, buddy. All right, let's take a look at equipment again. So we're coming along with support equipment. That's probably the biggest thing that we really need right now. And then we got to make more and more and more and more fighters. But we're making a ton of military factories right now, which is great. Even the French are getting tired out, which is nice. Oh, are you guys getting tired out? Eh, come help support them a little bit more. Hey, we took the tile. Great, we actually took the tile. Great, 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 great. Um, you guys aren't exactly ready to attack again. Poland is gone. Germany took, or Hungary took one state. That's a little just. All right. I'll be honest with you. I don't like seeing this, so I'm just going to go ahead and transfer it over. My apologies. Just court, just because I don't want to see stuff like that. That's disgusting. Ah, oh, we took the tile. Nice, great. Wow, they're really weak in some areas around here. I don't want to do this again too often, but there's, without us having enough, like air support, this does take a while. Ooh, adaptable is really good. Basic cruiser armor scheme, awesome. We can start making some of those. Uh, it's almost 1940. Excavation could be okay. Fuel, we might need, we'll definitely need more fuel. Uh, let's go and come over here, get some more engineers. Better engineers, at least, at that. That'd be awesome. You guys looking okay? Your organization is good enough. Take all but, like, two. Oh, there's three divisions there now. Hmm. You know, it says you could win. I want to trust you, but I kind of don't want to at the same time. So, you're going to hold there. And one division definitely can't take those four divisions on. Over here, that might be a different story. 73, 67. Yeah, definitely he lied to me. His intelligence wasn't very good. 63, 60, oh, 73, 62. Definitely don't like that. 67. This is like the only area that we might win there. Second, Ljubljana reward. They resist stuff. Oh, Izmir. Oh, you were. No, no. I, re I don't really care. But the right players were on Greece. See? Oh. Let's go and go down to a local police force because we can. That'll be good. And we're using the proper cavalry division. And actually, you know what? I could increase this, but you know what? How many armored cars do we have still? One point four thousand. That's not bad. What do we did more? Less manpower use. Oh, oh, they actually, they actually beat me over the river. Wow, that's kind of surprising. 
I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Everyone attack, beat them back over. Because I just want to grind out their uh, strength levels for now. And this is giving us a lot of good XP. This is really good for XP. Holy cow. Um, you guys come on back here. There you go. Yeah, they're, they're co completely committed. Ten divisions are attacking here. Send one more division over there. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. That. Oh, hello. Wait, why are you attacking Romania? Wait. Honestly, if this happens, I'm going to split Romania in half with the Germans. That's fine with me. This will be like the Poland of our timeline, I guess. Yeah, why are you at war with them? That makes no sense. I mean, we have... How much war? We have 98% of the... Well, I guess we're not allied with, you know, the Axis. But yeah, no. The only reason why they're able to push in is because I have literally almost all their army over here. At least for a while. If that's the case, go ahead and push in. You should have almost no problems pushing in. Just like you. Actually, you do that too. Go ahead and be, be aggressive with them. Oh, no, I get effects from that. That's okay. You guys are doing okay-ish. You guys have basically failed. So, we're going to hold off on that. Yeah, this is very surprising over here. Very incredibly surprising. And we do want some anti-tank. Let's go ahead and start researching that a little bit more. Toad artillery, very nice. We do not have enough of... Do we not have enough? Come on. Oh, it's just resistance, whatever. No one cares about that. Cruiser holes, 1936 cruiser holes. Uh, rapid fire guns, you want some of this? That's good. Better this, that's good. Better this. Don't want medium batteries on those guys. Rapid fire for light cruisers. Light cruisers, anti-air. Radar ones, which is, you know, they're all right. And armor two, that's a pretty good light cruiser. We're going to put you in Leningrad, because we can. And then, these carriers need a slight upgrade. And, there you go. That's actually pretty good. Now we got to make some, of course, we have to research... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do that. So, there you go. That's a little better. We're going to have to research some carrier planes, which will be fine. And we're still producing quite a few military factories, which is very nice. 26 support companies a day. That's actually pretty darn good. Anything around here that we need to talk about? Nope. And I will end the episode once Romania capitulates because I was not expecting them to fight the Germans at the same time. Uh, you're not winning anymore, so go ahead and hold in areas that you're not winning. You might win there. I want to keep attacking there, so see what happens. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they would be, really be able to hold us back too much, especially with all this what's going on. Okay. So... Honestly, we will divide this up, I think, pretty, pretty, pretty well. So, for Sarabia, I'm definitely taking this. I think that, that'd be pretty fair. I think that's pretty fair. Because we did most of this, and we were holding off the entire army the entire time. However, I will give Hungary, like, the rest of this, probably. I don't think Italy really cares about it. So. Okay, seriously, come on. How much war score do I need? And then I will let you know I'm using Playlist Peace Conferences, that's why no one else is taking stuff. So. There you go. And Hungry... Oh, hold on. Oh, come on. There you go. And... You know what, I'll, I'll probably take Olentia as well. Because Germany did not give me Poland, so... Yeah, that's definitely a problem. And now Hungry, your turn. You'll get... Krasania, Banat, Banat, and Transylvania. There you go. That's not too bad. They have no claims over here, which is good. Awesome. And you know, I'll end the episode here. Tomorrow we will finish off Turkey and begin preparing a war against the German Reich just because, well, they're Germans. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we will finish off the Turks. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.